happens when the soul leaves the body. You are not the physical body. You are the spirit inside the body. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the world shall mourn. And he shall hear of wars, and rumours of wars. See that he be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall shew great things and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the sacred chambers, believe it not. For as the light cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Immediately after the tribulations of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of trumpet, gathered together his elect from the four winds from the one end of the heaven to the other. There shall be weeping and a gnashing of teeth, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom, prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Is this what you fear, to burn in a fire of hell? You are not, you are not, you are not the physical body. You are the spirit inside the body. When the physical body dies, the spirit leaves the body. This is your spirit. That is your physical body. No material matter has any effect on your spirit. What effect will a physical fire have on a spirit? Some people must have been indoctrinated into these teachings from childhood. I don't expect of anybody to change. I just want people to start thinking outside the box. You have to decide for yourself. Is it possible for your spirit to burn in a physical fire? And if the answer is no, what is hell then? Some of you might accept the teachings of the science of the soul, and some may not. The science of the soul won't indoctrinate anybody into any new teaching. Your entire purpose is to conquer the mind and to free the soul to become one with its source. The Bible is not a storybook, and neither do any guru or master or apostle bring any new teaching. The same teaching has been given through all the ages. The main teaching is how to escape from the darkness of the world, your pain and suffering you enduring in this life. When the body dies, the spirit leaves the body, 
and you will have exactly the same wisdom and knowledge that you have now. And when you leave the body and there's no heaven or no hell, it will come as a big surprise to you. And you can go above sun, moon and stars as a spirit. You can travel above sun, moon and stars. You can travel wherever you want. No material matter will have any effect on you. You won't find anything because the kingdom of God is within you. And that is why I want to show you the truth. Hell is a condition. Hell is not a physical fire where you will burn. And what you do not understand by the time you leave the body, you will not understand then. If you have not found the kingdom of God when you leave the body, you will not know where to find God. That's why he says, seek my kingdom. In the next video, we will discuss what your human purpose is. God bless you.